So in this lab, I'm just going to show you a little bit about how to set up this lab. Uh, like I mentioned, you only have one of these. This is the graduated cylinder, and you can see the markings on the, uh, on the side of the cylinder to determine uh, what the volume is. Now, one of the first things you need to know is that this cylinder is measuring in milliliters. And any time we have a milliliter, uh, we can also record that as a cubic centimeter. So when you see in your lab manual here in just a second, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, those, are, those are, for these purposes, interchangeable um, <clears throat> in terms of measurement. So your lab manual looks like this. Here's procedure uh, A that you're not going to do. Procedure B, and what you need to know is that you're going to go completely through this with your unground soil, and then you'll go completely through it again with your ground soil. So you need to do one, uh, one version of this, and you'll go, you'll, go, you'll go completely through bulk density, and then completely through bulk uh, particle density with one soil, with for your unground soil, and then you'll clean the graduated cylinder, and you'll do that again with the ground soil. Okay? So you've got a uh, scale like this. Remember to take the, um, there's a little red uh, plastic thing in, in the battery case underneath. You need to take that off so that, the, that it'll work. You just press on off. This will light up. It, it's calibrating itself, and it should read 0, 0.0. If it doesn't, and we're going to, uh, make sure we're in grams, so make sure right up there it reads grams. Sorry about that, that little G in the corner. Um, if it doesn't, you can press tear. Uh, or sorry, if it, if it doesn't read grams, you can press mode, and that'll switch to uh, ounces or grams. And then if it's not 0, 0.0, go ahead and hit tear, and that just zeroes the, the scale. So the first thing we do is we weigh the... Uh, graduated cylinder. So we'll just place that on there and we've got in this case 114.4. Now uh, you just uh, need to know that um, that I have already done this on, on one. I'll go ahead and, and write it on here. So um, I have this taped off. You, you'll see that. But um, So we said 114.4 was the mass of our, our cylinder and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the mass of our, our cylinder in both cases. Okay, so. I'll go ahead and write 114.4 here, and the same thing here. Now, we're not. I'm going to pretend like I'm doing the un, the unground sample first. We're not going to do the ground sample just yet. That'll be our second round. So we're going to do the unground sample. Okay. So we've got this cylinder. It tells us that we need to fill it half full with our unground sample. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I filled this about half full. Uh, with soil. You do need to make sure that it's fairly even uh, on the top. Let me focus this real quick. So you need to make sure that it's, it's even across the top here uh, because you'll be reading where this falls on this, on this scale. Okay, so this is my unground sample and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I don't um, uh, tap this in any way so that it, uh, it gets compressed. And I'm gonna read, let me get it fairly even. I'm going to read up here and I'm going to say that's at about uh, 64. Okay, so 64. Okay, well remember that. Uh, and that is the volume of our uncompacted soil. Okay, so here I'm, I'm dealing with my unground sample, volume of uncompacted soil, so I'm going to write 60. And that's in cubic centimeters here. Uh, it's the same thing because we're, we're measuring a volume. So, uh, so you can just put that reading here even though you see milliliters on the side of that graduated cylinder. Okay. So the next thing I need to do, you'll see here, that we've got the, the, the weight of the cylinder plus the soil. Okay. Well, I need to find what that is. Okay. Turn this on. Make sure it's zeroed. I'm going to place my graduated cylinder plus the soil on there. And then I've got 195.4, okay? So I'm going to come over here and write 195.4. Then in order to determine the mass of the soil, I'm just going to subtract 114 from 195, and that'll give me uh, my mass of soil, okay? So that's approximately 181, okay? So... 81 grams of soil is how much soil I'm dealing with, okay? So the next thing you do, according to your book, okay, so we've 
uh, weighed the cylinder, we've filled it half full, we've recorded the volume, we've recorded the weight. Now what we're going to do is, is just lightly tap that on. Uh, you don't want to tap it on um, the concrete or anything like that. You know, your book would be fine, it's kind of soft. And what we're doing here is we're just, we're, we're just compacting this. Okay, so we're taking, taking out some of the pore spaces that are in here and seeing, uh, seeing what happens when we compact it. Okay, now recall, we were at 64 before, okay? Now let's see what, where we're at. Okay, now we're at about 57, okay? So we'll come over here, we've got the volume of our un uncompacted soil at 64, the volume our, of our compacted is now 57, okay? Now, from this, because you know that bulk density, in either case, if, if it's the uncompacted version or the compacted version, in either case, what we do is we, we have a grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so this little negative three means that this centimeter goes underneath the gram. So grams divided by centimeters cubed. This is just a shorthand way of writing that. So, so we know that we have to take our grams of soil divided by the volume of soil. Okay, well, here is our mass of soil, right? We know that it's 81 grams. So to find out the bulk density of the uncompacted soil, we'll take the mass of the soil, it's always going to be 81 because we're always dealing, whether or not it's compacted, we're always dealing with, with 81 grams of soil. And we're going to take that grams divided by cubic centimeters. Okay, so our volume of our uncompacted soil is 64. So we'll take 81 divided by 64, and that'll give us a bulk density reading for our uncompacted soil. Then we'll take, for our compacted soil bulk density, we'll take the same 81 grams divided by 57, and that'll give us a bulk density of our compacted soil. Okay? So you need to think about which one of these do you hypothesize is going to be uh, smaller? Which one is going to have a, a smaller bulk density? Which one is going to be more dense? Okay? So you'll need to write those down. Okay? Now, we're done with this bulk density for our unground sample, and we're going to move right into our particle density for our unground sample. Okay? So what we need to do is we need to set this soil aside. We're going to use it in just a second. So we're going to set this aside, get it all out of there, okay? And then I'm going to fill this up to about 50 uh, milliliters, okay? So let me come over here and get some water. Here's my so when you measure water into this graduated cylinder, so you'll eyeball it, okay, and, and get somewhere close to... Uh, to 50, you need to look at it evenly. So you've seen I've been kind of bending down to look at uh, to look at this. And where you want to measure is, let's see if this helps. You want to measure the bottom of that that trough. So you see I'm at about 51 uh, milliliters. Okay, so that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be 50 uh, perfectly. Okay. So I've got about 51 uh, milliliters. I'm going to come over here and say um, the volume of uh, water is 51, okay, for my unground sample, 51 volume of water, okay. Now, the mass of soil we know because we're still dealing with the same amount of soil. So we're just going to bring this 81 grams and we're just going to put it here, okay, because we know that we had 81 grams of soil that we're dealing with, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add this soil that we had back into uh, back into this all right we're going to do it fairly slowly so we make sure we get um, we get that soil to drop right down into the water and we can uh, try to make it so that there's not as many um, air bubbles that are in that and some of it's going to stick to the side and that's that's all right. In a, in a, I guess, in a more uh, uh, high quality lab setting, we would, uh, we would want there not to be that much up here. 
So what we're going to do is we're going <clears> to <throat> tap that a little bit so that any uh, air bubbles that are in there uh, get out because we don't want to measure air bubbles. We just want to measure um, the volume of the soil that's in there only. Okay. So it says to do that for a while and then let it sit. We'll pretend like we've, uh, we've let it sit. And then we'll measure... where we are. So it looks like we're at about 81 milliliters or 81 cubic centimeters. So we'll come back over here to our table. <coughs> Excuse me. The volume of the water plus the soil is 81. Okay. Uh, so the volume of the soil particles is the volume of the water plus the soil minus the volume of the water. Okay, so we here we see that we've got 30, okay, because that's 81 minus 51, so that gives us just the volume of the soil. We know the volume of the soil, we know the mass of the soil, so just like we calculated up here, the bulk density is in grams per cubic centimeter. The same thing is true here, except now we're just measuring the soil particles, not the soil and the pore spaces. So the particle density of the soil is the grams of soil divided by the cubic centimeters of just the soil, which is what we've calculated. We've, ta we've taken out the pore space, and we're just, take we're, just we're just looking at the volume of the soil particles. So we will take grams, which is, uh, sorry, 81 grams, divided by 30 grams. Okay, and that'll give us our particle density. So that's one uh, run through of, uh, of what you're going to do for your, ground, for your unground sample. You need to do the same thing. So wash out your uh, graduated cylinder, dry it out, and then go back and do the, the, ground, uh, the ground one as well, working through the bulk density and then the particle, uh, particle density. Okay. Next thing you're going to do after you've got all that information you're going to transfer this, these, these, um, this data that you have here down to this table so that you can calculate percent pore space. Okay, so for instance, ground compacted particle density. Well, here's ground. Okay, and you're going to get this particle density here. We'll bring down here ground uncompacted. Particle density is going to be the same, so we're going to bring that down here. Unground compacted particle density, dp. We're going to take it from here, bring it down to this space. Same thing, compacted or uncompacted, it's the same particle density, so we bring that down here. Okay? So we've got particle densities for our ground sample and our unground sample. Then we go for bulk density. So bulk density, we're going to say, okay, the ground sample compacted. Well, here's our ground sample and the compacted. So we're going to take this one right here and move it here and you get the idea. Ground uncompacted, well, here's our ground sample. Uncompacted bulk density is going to be right here so we'll bring this down here and so forth. Okay. Then using the equation in your book uh, you'll see that we can calculate the percent pore space of each of our samples and you can do that, follow that equation and then uh, put that information here.